becomes a single parent. Please welcome Bruno. So what's the baby's name? I guess it's like a traditional African name. OJ. What? All right, two comedies hit theaters this weekend. One is for teens, the other is definitely R-rated. And uh, Ryan Painter with In Utah This Week joins us now to uh, talk about I Love You, Beth Cooper, and Bruno. What do you think? Uh, I Love You, Beth Cooper is terrible. It's, it's <laughs> absolutely horrendous. Uh, there is absolutely no reason why you should go see this film. That's um, probably all we need to say then. That huh? is all that I need to say okay. about that. What makes it bad? What makes it bad? Uh, you know, the story is extremely unbelievable. The acting is poor. Uh, there is very little to actually laugh at. Uh, it's, it's a film that you've seen so many times before done better. Uh, that uh, there's, there's really no point in seeing. But you're a sophisticated viewer. What about teens? Yeah, well, you know, there's, there's still better stuff out there. I mean, if, uh, as far as teen comedies go, this is really the bottom of the barrel. I mean, he wants it to be along the, you know, Christopher Columbus directed it, uh, who's done uh, a lot of films. Uh, he wants it to be a John Hughes film from the, the 80s sort of thing, a Pretty in Pink or a, a Breakfast Club, that sort of thing. But it fails so miserably that, that it really... Yeah, even though it's quite short, it felt like it was three hours long. Well, maybe this Christopher Columbus just needs to sail off. He probably does Find need to sail script. off and, and uh, go ruin another film somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bruno, we've heard a lot about that. Bruno, you know, it's same people who did Borat, uh, which was, was surprisingly successful. And the thing that was kind of fun about Borat was that it felt very real. Uh, it didn't have a staged quality to it. Even the, the moments that were staged felt really authentic. Bruno doesn't have that. It fares very staged from the beginning to end. Um, there's no real social context, no commentary going on here that was in uh, Borat. Uh, and, and it's really just kind of offensive for offensive sake. Um, I think a lot of people will enjoy it, but it's going to be the sort of thing where they laugh because they're so uncomfortable and they can't believe what that he's actually gotten away with this sort of thing. That's a good way to put it. Um, okay, so uh, I guess the two big releases, maybe not worth yeah, seeing. Bruno, I think a lot of people will see it, but they'll kind of be mixed about it. Uh, there will be laughs. But okay, a couple of independent films you like. Fantastic inter uh, independent films this week. There's a film called Moon, which is a science fiction film uh, directed by Duncan Jones, who's actually David Bowie's son. Um, hmm. But it's uh, sci-fi in the sense of uh, 2001 or the Russian Solaris, where it's very intellectual, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Not a lot of action, but it makes you think a lot, and it's uh, fantastic performances. Um, Sam Rockwell is, is, plays multiple characters in it, and he's phenomenal. And there's also a film called The Hurt Locker, which is uh, a film about a bomb squad in Iraq that is also great. Uh, mm. It's the sort of film where halfway through you're so involved that you forget that you're watching a movie and as yeah. they're working with the bombs, it's just well, working real you intense. Working see those. You can see those both at the Broadway. At the Broadway, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Well, Ryan, thank you very much. We'll thank see you, you again next Friday. Uh, so what's coming down the pike? That's uh, Harry Potter next week. Oh, yeah. That's right. That'll yes. be a huge one. <laughs> okay. okay, Ryan, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys.